Exercise number one, the cobra. Lie face down on your mat with your feet together and toes pointed. Place your hands directly under your shoulders. Then, straighten your arms to lift your upper body off the floor. Lean your head back and keep your hips dug into the mat. We're gonna hold this position for 30 seconds. Ready? Let's go! The cobra stretch targets your shoulders, back, chest, abs, hips, and obliques. It really stretches out your spine and helps promote the growth of cartilage between your vertebrae. This will improve your posture and, thus, increase your height. Just a couple more seconds. Nice job! Exercise number two, seated torso twist. Sit down on the floor with your back straight and your legs out in front of you. Cross your right foot over your left thigh and plant it on the ground. Now, as you twist your torso towards your bent knee, place your right hand on the floor behind you and rest your left elbow on your knee. Keep this pose for the next 30 seconds. All clear? Then let's begin! This stretching exercise targets your back, abs, and obliques. It engages all of your abdominal muscles and even reduces the risk of developing cardiovascular disease. We're almost done here. And perfect! Now let's move on to the next exercise. Exercise number three, the warrior. Stand up straight and take a big step forward with your right leg. With your other leg straight behind you, rotate your left foot 45 degrees towards the center of the mat. Make sure your right leg is bent at a 90 degree angle so that your knee is exactly above your ankle. From this position, reach your arms toward the ceiling and hold this pose for 30 seconds. All right, enough talking. Let's do it! This exercise works your hips, back, and abs. It also strengthens your core. The deeper the lunge you do, the harder your core works. The warrior pose improves your balance as well. And that's it! Take a deep breath. And let's see what the next exercise is all about. Exercise number four, the bridge. Lie on your back with your knees bent and your arms at your sides. Slowly lift your hips toward the ceiling while keeping your feet and shoulders pressed firmly against the floor. Keep lifting until your knees make a 90 degree angle. Think you can hold this pose for 30 seconds? Let's see! This exercise is a great workout for your glutes, legs, and abs. It's especially known for toning and shaping the buttocks. And no more back pain is a great bonus of this stretch, too. Three, two, one, and done! Exercise number five, side lunge. From a standing position, take a big step to the right and dip your hips towards the floor until your knee is bent at a 90 degree angle. Make sure your knee stays directly above your foot. Keep your left leg straight and extended out to the left side of your body with your foot flat on the floor. Now, lean your upper body forward and place both hands on your bent knee. Let's hold this pose for the next 30 seconds. Six, five, 
Side lunges have a positive effect on your hip flexors, quads, and hamstrings. The main target, though, is your legs. This exercise will strengthen and tone them all right. Just 10 more seconds to go. Good job! Exercise number 6. Inner Thigh Stretch Sit on the floor with your back straight. Bring the soles of your feet together and pull them towards your groin. Using your forearms, lightly press your knees towards the floor and you'll feel a gentle stretch. You know the drill! 30 seconds on the clock! Let's go! Stretching your inner and outer thighs is key for good flexibility. This pose, in particular, targets the muscles of your inner thighs and groin. If you aren't very flexible, doing this stretch regularly will change that significantly. Just five more seconds. Well done! Exercise number 7. Knee Squeeze Lie on your back. Bring both knees up to your chest and hold them there with your arms. You'll feel a little stretch. Which, of course, is the whole point of our exercises today. So let's squeeze our knees for 30 whole seconds. This exercise works your upper, middle, and lower back muscles. It's also great at reducing and getting rid of knee pain. Just do it gently and know your limits. Hold it a bit more. And that's it. Moving along now. Exercise number 8. Tricep Stretch Stand tall with your feet shoulder-width apart and stretch your arms upward. Then bend your right elbow and hold it with your left hand. Gently pull the elbow toward the back of your head and hold this position for 30 seconds. 3, 2, 1, go! Tricep stretching targets your triceps, obviously, as well as your back, shoulders, and even your abs. This exercise improves flexibility and range of motion in your shoulders. Keep holding it just 10 more seconds. And stop. Take a breather, and then we'll move on to our next fat-burning exercise. Exercise number 9. Sitting Side Bend Sit on the floor with your legs crisscrossed, or sit in a chair if that's more comfortable for you. Lift your left arm straight up above your head and bend to the right. A gentle stretch in your left side means that you're doing the exercise correctly. Half a minute on the clock starts now. Sitting side bend gives a good workout to your obliques, back, shoulders, and abs. It also helps relax your mind and relieve any stress or anxiety. Keep going, you're doing great. And that's it! Hang in there! We only have three more exercises to go! Exercise number 10. The Bow Lie on your stomach and stretch your arms up and back. Bend your knees and grab your ankles with your hands. Just like with all our previous exercises, we're going to hold this pose for 30 seconds. Are you ready? And go! Go! 
The bow pose targets your abs, back, and hips. While you're doing it, don't forget to keep the tops of your shoulders away from your ears. If you do the exercise regularly, it'll improve your posture and tone your abs. Just 10 more seconds. And there you go! Exercise number 11. Downward Facing Dog Start the exercise on your hands and knees. As you exhale, straighten your arms and knees, press your heels towards the floor, and pull your head towards your feet. How many seconds are we gonna hold this position? You got it! 30. Off you go! This pose targets your legs, hips, back, shoulders, and arms. It improves digestion, too. Besides the physical stuff, it also has a great effect on your emotional state, helping you deal with depression and stress. Don't forget about your breathing! And time's up! Props to you for coming this far with us. Let's conclude this workout with our final exercise. Exercise number 12. The Triangle Start by standing on your mat and spreading your feet really wide apart. There should be about a 4-foot distance between them. Turn your left foot outwards 45 degrees and your right foot 90 degrees. Hold your arms parallel to the floor, breathe in, and start stretching to the left, as if you're trying to reach something. Then exhale and bend your body to the left so that your left hand touches your ankle or a yoga block if that's more comfortable. After that, stretch your right arm towards the sky. Keep looking up and hold this position for the next 30 seconds. Time's ticking. This exercise works your legs, obliques, hips, shoulders, and chest. It also gives your sides a good deep stretch. And like most yoga poses, it helps relax your brain and calm your emotions. So, that was the last exercise for today's workout. High five for being awesome and sticking through it! Don't forget to come back to this video at least once a week and do these exercises with us. They have tons of health benefits that will allow you to achieve your dream body within weeks. What's your secret to staying fit? Tell us in the comments section below. Don't forget to share this video with your friends. You can even do this simple workout together! Remember to always stay on the bright side of life. And we'll see you soon!